What's up, guys? It's Jay, Morning After Kill, and it's time for another sneak peek. This is 1.1 pre-alpha because this patch isn't uh, going to be released as a full patch. It's going to be a partial patch. It should be out soon, and this is going to be like a semi-informal uh, tutorial for you guys to show you guys, you know, what's going on so you're accustomed with it when it comes out. So what you're going to remember is you see these two reinforced rocks? You see the rest of the workshop right there? This is how you tell which way your block is going to face when you place it, alright? So, you're going to want to remember that when you're uh, building the workshop. I'm going to speed it up here. I'm only going to make a couple conveyor belts. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys all seen Argus's video. If not, I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys so you guys can go check it out. And, like I said, you're going to want to remember which way, you know see which way your block is facing that way you could put like a little arrow or what I do is I leave like a little solid strip at the end that way I know which way is uh, my conveyor belt is gonna flow when I'm building my lasers and everything and pretty much the uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna build you know there's fast conveyor belt and then there's a regular conveyor belt the fast conveyor belts are really fun uh, the slow conveyor belts are still a lot of fun but they're not as fun as the fast conveyor belts, of course. Uh, the cool thing is about it is you can make like a little racetrack around your uh, world, whatever, and show people your world. But right here, this is what you guys asked for. You wanted uh, you know, to set your block animations without a USB keyboard. Uh, the USB keyboards aren't very expensive, but, I mean, it's a $3 game, and a lot of people don't have the money because, you know, times are tough right now. Trust me, I grew up poor. I know all about it. That's why I do giveaways all the time. And speaking of giveaways, I got two of them coming up. Two giveaways, and we're going to talk about that later. But right now, you see the projector game soapbox flying across the world. Uh, that's the default texture if you don't have anything on top of your factories. Uh, basically, what you're going to want to do is you see my little beam emitter there. You name something beam emitter, and a laser pops out of it. You shoot that into a factory, and boom! Shit starts flying all over your world. You can even put the animated blocks on top of it. And these factories only work with custom blocks, so you can't, like, I tried putting a heart shaped uh, window and tried, you know, throwing hearts all over the place. It didn't work. But, uh, I mean, you can animate your custom blocks and, you know, make little factories like we did for, uh, you know, reinventing the wheel. Uh, Paul Thompson, aka Butcher Boy Toma, I don't think he's slept since this thing comes out, because, I mean, that guy's been, you know, pumping shit out lately with this damn thing, and, you know, he has an epic world, so we pretty much all expected Butcher Boy to, you know, fall in love with this feature right away, but look at that. It's really cool. It's really simple. Like I said, you just point the laser, boom, right into a factory, and you can put your conveyor belts, and you can angle your conveyor belt any way you want. Uh, you could use jump pads to make it go up an incline, so if you go like conveyor belt, jump pad, conveyor belt, jump pad, conveyor belt, jump pad, and you keep leveling up, you can make a rudimentary uh, little, you know, roller coaster. Not as, uh, you know, as cool as the minecarts in uh, Minecraft, but, you know, there's still time. This game is still young. It hasn't even been out for like six months yet. It's probably been about four or five, and... These are the pressure plates. Instead of using the lasers, if you use the pressure plates and you walk over them, they power them. So you can come up with some really cool effects for walking along and, you know, have stuff pop up out of the air. And, you know, people are like, oh, wow, I didn't know that was going to happen because, you know, you can hide these pressure plates into really cool things. Uh, if you build them all the way up at the top of your workshop instead of at the bottom like I did, then you can actually place them as, like, you know, level with the ground. And it'll be really cool, really cool effect. You see it looks like it's kind of twisting as I'm walking over top of it. It's like, you know, sending my little block sailing. But it's fun. It's awesome. And uh, I know you guys are going to have some crazy shit to do with this because it's really easy. Like I said, you just, instead of the lasers, you put the uh, pressure plates down and run over top of them and you have a ball. So, you know. I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys are going to do with this. Uh, I also wanted to take the time out and thank you guys for, uh, you know, actually uh, being really cool about me posting up other shit besides Fortress Craft. And here's me cheating with my keyboard and looking through the world because I heard the relic. And it's going to say Little Digger, but I already have Little Digger. This is actually the Little Builder. 
It's the start of the uh, minions. It looks like the little builder, uh, little digger right now. Uh, Arcus hasn't put the texture in. Like I said, it's just a test build right now. This is just showing you guys what's coming. And to get you a little bit acquainted with it, here you can see I had it with the smoke, but you can get a little acquainted with it before uh, it comes out so you can watch this, see how it's uh, working out. And that's the little builder in action. Like I said, it's, uh, it's pretty much a minion. It's, uh, you know the basic building blocks of what the uh, minions are going to be. So it, it runs for about 22 blocks long. It uh, places any block that you have selected in your wheel. And you can, like, you know, put up a really big wall. As long as you uh, you wait right here like that, you wait uh, for it to place the second block, then the next builder that you place on top of that block is going to build on top of that block while the other builders are building. So as you can see right here, I have about, like, nine builders going and... It's really cool because they're putting up a wall really, really fast for me. And, you know, it's just awesome. It's just going to be a cool new way for, you know, put up some things faster. That way, you know, you can have some diggers over here flattening out some land and some builders over here putting up a wall for you. So, you know, really creative ways that you can build. It's going to help out a lot. Uh, I know you like to build big like me. I've been seeing a lot of really big stuff lately. I haven't even gotten a chance to build yet because we've been so busy. Everything's been so busy. I have a big uh, checking out your world, doing the show me your world. I have another one. Uh, my buddy Silver Z06. He has an awesome world. He's been working on his Roman Coliseum, and I, I shit you not, it's probably like 500 by 500. It is epically big. He has a statue in his world that is made of all custom blocks. It's 64 blocks. He used every single block in the game just for his statues. That's how epic it is. So I'm going to speed this up. There's going to be uh, probably about a minute left. So I'm going to tell you about pretty much what's coming up. Uh, I'm going to be having a tournament for Worlds, all right? There's going to be prizes. The prizes aren't going to be announced yet. I'm still going to do uh, two Microsoft point, uh, two 1600 Microsoft Point giveaways in the near future, probably next week. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. But like I said, I'm going to be doing a tournament of worlds. So if you give me an email, it's this isn't going to happen for like until the, the next two weeks. All right. So I'm going to have two weeks to, you know, come to your world, check it out, uh, pretty much, you know, get everybody's world that that needs to be in this tournament uh situated and seated and basically how it's gonna work is it's gonna be i'd like to have 32 worlds all right so i know there's probably gonna be more uh submissions than 32 so what i'm gonna do is you send me an email at morning after kill at yahoo.com spelled just like my gamer tag spelled just like my channel right here there's no g in it and in the subject i want you to put tournament and then in the body of it, I want you to put your gamer tag, and I'm going to set up a time with you sometime within the next two weeks to come check out your world, all right? Now, the best 32 of those worlds are going to be entered into the tournament, and you're going to be seated based upon how many uh, people you have visited to your world so far and how many people that uh, voted for your world so far. So, sorry about that. The phone's ringing. Uh, the cool thing about that is is... It's going to be seeded like college football. It's going to be, uh, you know, high seed versus low seed. So even if somebody did boost their world up to a higher rank and does make it into the tournament, just because you're a mediocre world doesn't really mean that you're going to have anything because it's based upon, you know, creativity, custom block usage, size, you know, originality, and, you know, whatever have you. So... That's that's going to be happening in the next two weeks. There's going to be prizes. I haven't gotten around to uh, you know, picking out what the prizes are. If you guys have ideas of what the prizes should be, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. But like I said, I don't even have to speed this up now because I was uh, rambling on about my tournament that I want to have. Because you know, everybody says they have the best world. Everybody says they have the most epic world. That's what this game is about. This game is about building. It's about using your imagination. It's about, you know, wanting to create the best thing that you could possibly create. So, you know, I've seen some really cool shit. I've seen some really fucked up shit. I've seen some awesome shit. So we're going to give you guys the power to, you know, decide who wins this tournament. So that's going to be in the uh, description. Leave a... Uh, you know, email. I'll set up a time with you in the next two weeks to come check it out. And 
remember, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. It's Jay, more than Afterkill. And I'm about to get back to the Monday Night Football. See you guys later.